Hey everyone, I'm Superbiscuit, and welcome to my channel, but also, welcome to Undercards. This is a free-to-play fan-made game in honour of the hit, or hit game Undertale. And I am going to be playing a few games, walking you through the rules, and hopefully opening a few packs of cards a day. First off, let's just type in chat. Let's see if I get any responses. Yes, you may notice that I have a yellow gold name, and uh, that's because I have uh, donated to the game. I'm just going to tell everyone that I'm recording right now. Okay. If I get any responses. Okay, for the E2, <laughs> now don't listen, don't listen to Hobo Jedi, don't, don't, don't listen to him, don't. And let's uh, first off, let's open the pack. Hopefully, I can get that sweet YouTube luck. The answer's no. Short answer, <laughs> no. Okay. Let's just let's do that now. So I'm going to explain a few things to you. First off, you have classes. All these different classes do different things. To give an example, determination has three lives. So when they hit zero HP, they lose a life and they cannot die that same turn. Kindness will restore one HP to itself and every and its every one of its monsters every turn. Patience that paralyzes. Integrity gets money faster. It's, it, it's easy to grasp, easy to do, and I'm just going to very quickly get rid of a few things. Add that, well, not that, and no, add that, and then we're going to play a few games, and I will explain as we go along. I'm playing Justice because. As you can see here, daily quest is to do two victories as justice. Now, the daily will be different for everyone, so don't think that you can date me and this video by your daily. Continuing on, I'm going to do a few games. And you, you do get a little mini game to play until Metaton comes and destroys your ears. Uh, but luckily for you, I have balanced the audio of this tab, and not that well as it seems. Metaton's still really loud. Okay, the Hellboy, playing Perseverance. Perseverance is like playing Sands in Undertale. He deals Karmic Retribution to me, which means I can't heal above 10 health. I'm gonna end my turn. So, Temi here has the Charge Attribute and the Battle Cry Attribute. I'm just gonna quickly do that. Uh, charge, uh, charge, as you can see here, allows you to, to attack the exact same turn as that card is placed down. Whereas another card, any other card, such as Moldberg here, would take two turns, my turn, uh, my, uh, my turn, and the opponent's turn before I can attack. I could have explained that better, couldn't I? Yeah. And so, uh, battle cries. Battle cries are abilities that will uh, have occur upon being played. So right here I have Azriel, and his battle cry is to restore its owner back to 4 HP. Now, it's a bit of a bad first example, playing against Perseverance, because Azriel won't work, he won't heal me, uh, but trust me, he does. Future. Future is a trait that uh, basically says that in four turns, if on this particular card, it will kill a random enemy monster. That doesn't matter if this card is murdered or destroyed, as long as this card is played, a monster is going to die in four turns. And Taunt. Taunt is probably at this level, low level. High level, eh, mid level. Taunt is probably very widely used by a lot of people. Uh, as you can see here, my opponent isn't attacking me directly and they've played their own taunt, but they're not attacking me directly because they can't. This, this card here, uh, thanks to its taunt ability, can only be attacked. So if you build a wall of taunts, you cannot be attacked directly. This is a good strategy. Oh, that's a problem. This is a good way of 
dealing with just annoying people. People who spam, well not spam, but people who try to overwhelm you with numbers. I'm not going to... So as you can see here, Memorial Statue has its own gimmick. It can silence enemy monsters. So normally, normally this would be a taunt, but it no longer is a taunt. So, and then we finally have Death Rattles. I've been waiting to talk about these. These are kind of like battle cries, except they will occur upon the monster's death. In this case, Flowey will go back to the owner's deck. I'm going to put down Astigmatism. Oh, why did I do that? Actually, that's a good move. Going to Explosion Flowey. And attack that. There we go. At the moment, thanks to my dummy being silenced, uh, I have one useless card on the on the board. This dummy cannot attack. It has zero attack. I would need to buff it, give it some attack buffs. Unfortunately, I can't right now. So, I am instead do this. And that. And there we go. Hopefully, oh dear, let's have a look. Reduce the cost of all the cards in your hand by one. Okay, so team cost. This number here is team cost. That number dictates how, ma how much gold you need in order to play the card. However, uh, as you can see, I currently have no gold and my opponent has nine gold. The turn is what dictates how much gold you have. Upon my next turn, I will have 8 gold. So I scratched that 9 gold. How can... There we go. Deal, deal 1 damage. Throw that. There we go. It sadly looks like my very first game is going to end in a loss. However... Have my ways. Let's see if I can come about the comeback of the. Oh, never mind. Gaster. Gaster is a type of card that can't attack himself. As you can see, he has his own special ability, which is to add a Gaster Blaster to your hand. In other words, I am doomed. Yep. Oh! 8.55 has just obtained Shiny Metaton Neo. I lost that game. No big deal. But I hope that this first episode did a very decent job of explaining all different types of cards. I promise I won't be this annoying in the future. In the future, I'm planning on bringing some friends in. Basically, just talking. Have some fun times uh, over this game in the background. And if anyone wants to give me some packs, looking at you, Only Trem, looking at you, I need some packs, want to do some of the openings, need that sweet ad revenue. And but the last thing that I wanted to talk about was crafting. So, here you can break down all your spare monsters, like that. And you get dust, which, let's be honest, in the context of this game, takes on a different meaning. Um, but different rarities, different tiers of rarity, will give you different amounts of dust. Okay, twenty dust for Tammy. A purple, I believe. If I can find one of my purples. Come on, hey give you 100 dust. So it's not a bad idea to disenchant your purples, especially if you don't play the class. However, I would personally hold off on doing so, as you can, you can get yourself into a situation where your daily is to play two as patience. And Snowstorm, Snowstorm is a really good way of doing the patient's dailies. 
anyway, before we end up for the day, I think I think we're gonna try to get that last patient, the uh, last justice win. It is also worth noting that I don't play justice. Come on. Okay, back to spider dance, I guess. Ooh, let's have a look. Now, Temi does have a 50% chance of summoning another Tem. So, oh, I didn't get the Tem. Special enemy term has come here to defeat you. Oh no! Special enemy term has come to defeat me! <laughs> Who is the better term? There can only be one. There can only be one. Oh no, Shara, no! Yep, I definitely recommend playing this game to any of you Undertale Hell fans out there. And also, if you wouldn't mind throwing a, a uh, what's the word I'm looking for? A donation, the creator's way. You will massively appreciate it. And you also get this cool little thing here. You also get access to emotes. Never mind. Anyway, so short, so short, sorry. My YouTube, funnily enough, doesn't currently exist at this time. My group. Anyway. Oh. Okay. Let's, let's see how the chat's doing. But my YouTube. Okay, so while I was typing, I looked back and I'm in an awful situation. Let's just do this. Ah, that could have gone better. Come on. Yes, so Justice also has another feature. At the end of your turn, deal one damage to a random enemy monster. That can be awfully useful. When you just can't do quite enough damage. But you can do... Enough. Pop up a pie rope. Taunt and, taunting and then putting up a pie rope is fairly common. Fairly common tactic as as uh, they can't do anything about it. Very frankly. Get rid of ten. You can indeed use the block of ice to attack. Now, Gaster will put a random Gaster, or a Gaster Blaster into your opponent's hand, or your hand. Oh, but he's gonna go straight for me, which is... Honestly, an interesting tactic. I'm gonna hold out a turn. I don't think he'll kill me this turn. Keyword is think. Okay, he's downed one taunt. Okay. Okay. 
Okay. There we go. My boy Azriel. Come on. There are two versions of the Azriel card. There is Hyper God of Death Azriel and um, Small Azriel. They're both fairly good cards in their own right. I do have them both. Now, Stigmatism. Yep, we'll kill Gaster. One more turn, and I should be solid. Place Onion Sand down for swag. There we go. Hey! That victory, though. Hey, Parzan just got Toriel. Congrats. And to end off this video, there we go. Alright, thank you guys for watching. And I hope to see you guys in the next episode of Undercards. Thank you. And goodbye.